guys just checking in really quick um i am at the hospital as you can see getting prepped for surgery um super nervous but i am excited about the outcome um hopefully i'll be able to chat with you guys later so stay tuned keep me in your prayers hey guys good morning it is the first morning after my gastric bypass surgery I'm feeling a little bit better today than I was yesterday. Um, the worst part is the gas pain. All yesterday, it felt like I had a ton of bricks on my chest and I could barely breathe. I barely slept. Um, I was up walking a lot, which they said is supposed to help with it, but it really did not. Um, what else happened yesterday? My blood pressure has been fluctuating up and down a lot, but I guess that's just part of the recovery process. Um, I'm hooked up to an IV, getting lots of fluids. Um, that's pretty much all that's been happening so far. Today, in order for me to be discharged, I have to consume a certain amount of liquids um, every hour for four hours consecutively. So. We will see how that goes. I was eating ice chips yesterday as I kept getting dry mouth. And honestly, I never felt like the water hit my stomach. Like, honestly, I don't even feel like my stomach is any different. Um, the only thing that is really hurting as far as my stomach is that the doctor ended up having to repair a hernia. So that incision is actually hurting the worst. Um, Initially, I was only supposed to have five incisions. I have eight because of him repairing the hernia, but that's all that's happening right now. I just wanted to check in with you guys. As the day goes on or the next couple weeks, I will be sharing more um, just to give you guys more insight as to how this process goes. So yeah, stay tuned. I will talk to you soon. Okay, so I am now home um, after being discharged about it. Excuse me, about an hour or so ago. Um, I'm just laying in bed right now. I'm about to try and get some fluids in, and then I'm going to get up and walk around. I'm having some pain in my stomach now, so I'm also going to try some Tylenol. But other than that, I am feeling pretty good. Um, hopefully... I'll have some more exciting news to share throughout the week um, about how I'm progressing and I'll be able to show you guys my scars. Hey guys, I know I look tired. Um, excuse me for looking a mess. It is about eight o'clock in the morning here on Monday, January 20th. Today is exactly seven days post my gastric bypass surgery. Um, as you've seen through the week, it's had some ups and downs. Um, I started off with a lot of gas pain in my chest and it was just unreal. Like it was unlike any other pain I have ever felt before. Um, that finally subsided every now and then I get some pain, like in my stomach, um, in my like incision sites. Um, but this morning I woke up feeling pretty good, just really tired. My dog was really fussy last night for some reason so I didn't get much sleep um, I haven't even been sleeping in my bed I've been sleeping on my couch because it's a lot easier to sit up a little bit and sleep than lay down um, I am still on the clear liquid diet until tomorrow where I can start incorporating um, eggs but I can only have one ounce of egg at breakfast lunch and dinner um, I'm not a big breakfast person. I do not like eggs for breakfast. So I'm thinking what I'm going to try is to make like a warm egg salad um, and just have one ounce of that at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm tempted to try it with like a half a slice of bread, but I don't want to overdo it because I am only one week out. I can have light mayo, so I did purchase some and I'm going to try that this week. Um, starting next week, I can add in things like tuna, canned tuna and canned chicken. So I'll probably be eating tuna fish all next week. Um, and this phase of the diet lasts up until my six-week nutrition appointment, which is February 21st. So 
have quite a bit of ways to go with this. I still have to drink protein supplements and the minimum get 64 ounces of water a day or fluids a day. It has been a real struggle. I think yesterday I may have hit 40 ounces. The day before I may have hit like 50 or 52, but the first couple of days I was home, I was not drinking anything. Like you're just not hungry. You're not thirsty. You literally are like forcing yourself to drink. And I realized that when I start getting like a cramp in the bottom of my chest, um, that that is my stomach telling me that it's full. So it's been a struggle, but I'm hoping that because I'm in less pain than I was last week, that things will start to get better. I also have to start taking my vitamins today, which I'm hoping goes well and I don't get nauseous and things like that. Um, some of the things that I have to take, and some of them are twice or three times a day, are calcium magnesium citrate with vitamin D3. If I take the liquid form, I have to take three tablespoons a day. I also bought a pill form and I'm waiting for my dietitian to email me back to let me know if I can take the liquid because I absolutely hate pills as it is. And then to try to swallow them right now is not probably going to be good. I have to start a B12 supplement. This just goes under the tongue and dissolves. I also have to take vitamin B1. 500 milligrams of this. I think this is once a day. Um, Flintstone Complete Chewables, I have to take twice a day. Um, vitamin D3, mostly because I have low vitamin D. But I need to find out if that's actually necessary because the calcium magnesium citrate has D3, but it may still be. Um, I take a C vitamin only because they said that a C vitamin helps iron absorb better. So I'm, I'm going to go to the drugstore to see if I can find iron with C vitamin in it. If not, that's just two pills I have to continue to take. Um, but that's really it. Today I'm going to try really hard to get as many fluids in as I can. I did purchase some protein waters by Isopure. I hear that some of them are good and some of them are not. This one actually has 40 grams of protein. And right now, while I'm not eating, I have to have 60 grams a day. So if I can knock out this bottle and most of a Premier Protein, I'll be good. Um, before surgery, I loved Premier Protein. I'm thinking now that I'm not really liking them as much as I used to. It's something about that like milky texture that is not really agreeing with me. I'd rather just drink water. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much all that's happening. Sorry, I'm moving around so much in this light. I'm going to go ahead and get on the scale just to see where we are since surgery. Um, the morning of surgery at the hospital, I weighed in at 266. Um, from the beginning of my journey, that's actually a good number. I started at 283 at the beginning of my journey um, last year and just from attending the dietitian classes and making some changes, pre-op liquid diet, all of those things, they brought me down um, quite a few pounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and get on the scale to see where we're at today, and we'll check in later this week. Guys, here we go. So remember I said last Monday, the morning of surgery, I weighed in at 266. Today, I am weighing in at 256, so about 10 pounds down in seven days, which I'm definitely not complaining. I'm gonna hop on one more time, because when I got on it before my mom left, it said uh, 255, but you guys know how I talk about my floor, and it's probably unleveled with this being an older house. See, then that says 257. So I think what I'm going to do is just stay off the scale. Wait until it's time to go to my doctor's appointment um, and let them weigh me. I can definitely tell by looking at myself that things are starting to change. So I'm just going to base it off of that. Yeah, and we'll go from there. So stay tuned. So today is Tuesday, January 21st. Um, I actually just got back from the hospital. 
because I was severely dehydrated. Um, all yesterday I was feeling pretty bad. My heart rate, heart rate was going up and down. I called my doctor and she was like, just drink more fluids. It's so hard to drink fluids after you have gastric bypass. It is not easy. Um, I ended up fainting last night around midnight. So I went in to see my doctor this morning and they sent me to um, the infusion center where I had to get a liter bag of saline and then a banana bag, which is basically like a bag of vitamins. And I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I still have to drink my fluids. I still have to take it easy. I'm about to have my first meal of the day because I've been gone all morning at the doctor, which um, this week I can introduce eggs into my diet, but I can only have one ounce three times a day. So I don't really like breakfast or scrambled eggs, so I decided to make like an egg salad with just eggs, pepper, mayo. Um, so I'm going to have an ounce of that. And then in about 30 minutes to an hour, I will try to drink some more water or something. You can't eat and drink at the same time. You can't eat and drink within 30 minutes of each other. So I'm going to eat now, try to drink later. Oh, I also did my weight again today at the doctor. I am 254.1. And seven, eight days ago, I was 266. So despite everything that's happening, it is slowly but surely still coming off. Um, I'll let you guys know what happens throughout the rest of the week. Stay tuned. So today I am 14 days post-op. Um, the past few days have been kind of up and down still. This recovery process is tough. Um, I've been going through a lot of feeling exhausted, um, very fatigued, um, some pain here and there in my stomach. It's mostly when I bend over. Um, I'm finally able to like lay down in my bed without any pain. Um, still having an issue with my fluids. Um, we know the other day I had to go and get an IV for dehydration. Yesterday I was able to meet my 64 ounces goal, but that was without eating. I'm at a stage where I'm supposed to be eating one ounce of protein three times a day plus fluids, but right now I'm really feeling like I'm either going to eat or I'm going to drink, but you're not going to get both. So I've been really just focusing on drinking, um, also drinking two protein, two protein shakes because I'm not actually eating my protein. So I've been trying to make sure I at least drink it. I do have a follow-up appointment next Thursday. And I'm going to talk to my doctor just about how I've been feeling, um, what I can do to kind of help through this recovery process. I'm able to take my vitamins with no problem. The only one that bothers me is the iron. Iron makes me nauseous. And normally when I was taking iron before surgery, I would have to eat like a whole meal before I took it in order to not get nauseous. But now I can't eat a whole meal. So it's kind of like I have to deal with the nauseousness or not take it. So I'm going to talk to them and see what they recommend for that. I'm scheduled to go back to work right now as of February 4th. But to be honest, I don't think that I'm ready to go back to work. Like the very first week of surgery, I just felt horrible. I was sick. The gas pains, everything was just out of whack. Um, last week, I fainted on Monday, had to get the IVs on Tuesday, and was slowly starting to get back into being able to drink my fluids. This week is really like the first week where I'm feeling like I can drink enough, but I'm still not eating. And then to say, you got to go to work next week, there's no way that I'm going to be able to work and make sure that I'm doing what I need to do as far as food and water and vitamins every couple of hours. So I'm going to request that they keep me out for at least another one to two weeks. If not, I may just, you know, take a leave, use my vacation time. I just, I personally feel like I need a little bit more time to really um, focus on my eating and drinking habits. But aside from that, I mean, the first few days, um, the first few weeks, I guess, the first week or so was really rough. Like I went through a couple of days where I was just like so emotional and crying and regretting the whole thing just because of the pain and not being able to drink and eat. And even now, like, yes, I, I get faint 
I'm exhausted, but I am realizing I don't really regret the choice I made. It's just a part of the healing process. So anyone that's interested in going through um, any type of weight loss procedure, make sure that you have a good support system. Like my husband is my number one supporter. He keeps me grounded. Anytime where I'm like, oh my God, there's a pain in my leg. I have a blood clot. Like he brings me back to reality. Um, but it is very tough mentally. It's not even just the physical and, you know, not being able to eat. It, it, it is a strain on your mental state. So just make sure you have a great support system. Um, I'm trying to stand by the fact that in due time, everything will get better. Um, you know, it's been rough, but I am looking for a more promising future. Um, but that's really about it today. It's probably about 1030. I've only gotten down 12 ounces of water. And then I took a 30 minute break because I want to try to eat today to see if I can do food and fluids. Um, last week I was trying, well, earlier this week I was trying egg salad because I don't really like breakfast food and I didn't want a scrambled egg. But today I wanted something different. So I did scramble an egg um, and I can still only have half an ounce. So what I'm going to eat is not even a whole egg. It's not even half of an egg, really. Um, so I'm going to try to eat that. Um, the recommendation is to take 30 minutes to eat. Chew very, very slowly. Um, be mindful of how you're swallowing. Like don't inhale your food. Um, and then if there's anything left of this after 30 minutes is to be tossed out. And then you have to wait another 30 minutes before you can drink anything else. So I'm going to try that um, and just try to continue to get my fluids in. Um, I've been trying to walk every hour just to keep moving. It's freezing outside, but I've been going outside every day for 30 minutes walking in my neighborhood just to keep exercising. Excuse me. Um, but that's really it. Um, I will post more videos throughout the journey. Probably it will be a couple of weeks just, you know, as I try to continue to get myself acclimated to this new routine. But if you have any questions, comments, concerns about, uh, gastric bypass surgery, anything, I'm complete, completely open about my journey, willing to share any knowledge that I have with you guys. So, Definitely let me know and stay tuned. Bye.